Good afternoon, my name's Julie Price. I'm a Head of Risk Management and Education Consultancy for the Medical Protection Society. Medical Protection Society, or MPS, is a leading international company providing indemnity for clinicians, mm. doctors, nurses and other allied healthcare professionals across the world. We're a mutual non-for-profit organisation. Now, it's okay providing indemnity and being there when things go wrong, but actually one of the really important things is to be there when to stop things going wrong, to prevent them. So patient safety is intrinsic in our work and one of our aims is to work with our members and non-members to, through education and risk management, to provide safer quality service for patients. So I head up a department in the education team and we provide education, workshops, risk assessments. So one of our roles in education is we provide risk management workshops for general practices across the UK and in Ireland. And we also provide risk assessments and that's our flagship programme actually. And we go into a practice, we spend a day there and we do clinical risk assessments. So we're looking at the systems of a practice and trying to identify where there may be any holes, risks, within that system and then we, we have a workshop for staff and they also identify where there's risks and we go away and then write the, the practice a report giving them some recommendations to make their system safe. Um, it's a, a really effective programme and we've worked with over 1600 practices across the UK and Ireland now all trying to improve the quality of care that they provide. And just to give you an example, we had one practice that we've been to that with the, in England, with the Care Quality Commission had been and visited them and they gave them outstanding. So you think, why would they have a risk assessment done by MPS? They invited us to go there and when I spoke to the practice manager, she said it was about quality improvement, that they want to provide a quality service and want to always be looking at where they can improve. And I think that's a really important part about it, that no practice, no system is ever going to be safe, but you can do a lot of work to try and make sure that your systems are as tight as they can. Because we are all human, we will make a mistake, but if you've got really good, robust systems in place, they will trap those errors, hopefully. And that's what we see. Yes, yeah, so tomorrow afternoon I'm running a workshop on the management of test results. And what we're going to do in that workshop is have a look about the patient journey through the test results system. And we're together we're going to try and identify where there may be some risks with that system along that patient journey, from the time that the doctor orders the test to the following up of that patient. And it's really important, you can do that with any system you've got and follow the patient journey through that system and see if, you, if your system is robust and safe within your practice. And if it isn't, then you can make some changes. So it's all about teamwork, building that together and having a look at, at where things could go wrong. So if we look to MPS claims, 63% of our claims are related to delay in diagnosis. And when you think about that, is that the doctor's clinical decision? Well, actually, no. If you look at those claims, so many of them related to the referral letter getting forgotten, the test result not being followed up. And so it brings back to system errors, not just about a clinical diagnosis. The second biggest claim we have is um, medication errors. So 19.3% of our claims are related to medication errors. So again, that other system, repeat prescribing, it's so important within that practice to make sure that the system of the prescribing, the patient journey through that, is safe. And I think one of the things that I always think about is that we are all patients too. I'm a patient and my family are a patients. And we want that practice to be safe. We want our treatment to be safe when we go into a practice. And so we're all in that together. And it's really important that staff and patient safety are paramount of importance.